It is a well-known fact that artists are the major drivers of any given economy of the world, especially in sub-Saharan Africa like Nigeria. However, as the largest economy in Africa, the country has gained many strides from its visual arts sector. The British Council report on the mapping of the Nigerian Creative Report November 2013 shows that the Nigerian economy is strategic to the development of many African nations. It is being envisaged that many attempts by Nigeria's policymakers to sustain the visual arts sector would greatly impact the gross domestic product GDP if the institutional framework is set aright by policymakers. The painting industry contributes to the country's export earnings. Joshua J.K. 2015 described visual arts as an investment worth taking with an emphasis on painting. He introspected that a single painting could be worth 300 million US dollars. He went further to say that the worth of one painting can build roads such as Ore or to Lake Epe Expressway, which posed a great hazard to motorists, paralyzing the economy of the affected areas. The Nigerian visual art market is fueled with independent established professionals, collectors, art galleries, and student artists spread across the major cities of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. These circles of artists are predominantly based in major economic cities of Nigeria, including Lagos, Abuja, Harcourt, Enugu, and so on. They produced Contemporary paintings, sculptures, and other craft. Gazito A, 2018, reported that as at 2012, the number of Lagos based art collectors stood at 70. Notwithstanding, Nigerian artworks are now gaining more international recognition due to the country's rich cultural values. Evidently, this has greatly impacted the success stories of the sales of Nigerian artworks in various auction houses. Castelloid 2015 reported that El Anasu, the Nigerian-based Ghanaian, holds the record of auction sales. His another plot was sold for 1,180,000 US dollars in 2012. Painters contribute to the development of the Nigerian economy by providing employment opportunities. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, more than 5.2 million people are employed in the painting industry in Nigeria. Between 2010 and 2018, the Nigerian art industry created over 600,000 jobs, accounting for a 5.7% increase in overall employment. Painting services can increase the gross domestic product GDP of a developing economy like Nigeria. According to the Tourism Economics 2021, domestic and international visitors to Nigeria's economy directly contributed 2.6 billion US dollars to the Nigerian gross domestic product and supported 7.9 billion US dollars total impact. The Nigerian travel and tourism industry represented 4% of the total GDP in 2019. This economic activity supported 3.3 million jobs. In recent times, attempts have been made to rationalize some of the Benin bronzes exported to the United Kingdom without export licenses. Most of these artworks recovery could be seen as the aftermath effect of the Benin punitive expedition of 1897. Until now, one of the Nigeria's rich cultural heritage is being recovered in their numbers in Europe. Martin 2023 revealed that the items returned must go through the same procedure as any other works. Martin 2013 further said that it is important that the export process is followed properly. Although the Benin bronzes represent the most pressing African restitution issues, Lagos Reuters confirmed that a portrait of a Nigerian princess 
that was lost for more than 40 years was found in a London flat and was sold at an auction for about 1.4 million pounds. Lagos Reuters 2018 also reported that a painting of one of the famous Nigerian contemporary artists, Ben Wong, which appeared in the 1974 auction in Lagos, disappeared in Lagos, Nigeria, but later resurfaced in North London. The sale of this painting would have been a world record for the artist that had been expected to be sold for between 200,000 and 300,000 pounds. Buhari 2014 said that there are also private galleries and collectors who have in their caves works of prominent contemporary artists and arguably have the largest private collections of contemporary artists' work, both of Nigerian and non-Nigerian artists. Consequently, one would say that Art is now a serious business in Nigeria. Within the last decade, as new galleries continue to soar and enlarge in their scope, the key players now in the art industry in Nigeria are the gallery owners like Signature Gallery, Art House Contemporary Limited, and Nike Ogundaye Gallery. Joshua and John 2015 quoted Oseb Brown in response to progressive Nigerian's art market. He stated that interest in Nigerian art is taking a new turn as the May art auction organized by Art House Contemporary recorded a sale of 124,834,000 naira with a total of 116 lots sold from Africa's most celebrated artists. For example, at the April 2014 auction, Bruce Bayer's Dance in the Bush sold at the hammer price of 3.65 million naira, while L. Anasius' untitled piece and Kolade Oshinowo's arts the party sold at 3.5 million naira and 2.2 million as second and third highest sold works respectively. According to Tourism Economics 2021, domestic and international visitor spending in the Nigerian economy directly contributed 2.6 billion US dollars to Nigerian gross domestic products and supported 7.9 billion US dollars in total impact. The Nigerian travel and tourism industry represented 4% of the total GDP in 2019. These economic activities supported 3.3 million jobs. In 2019, total visits peaked at 45.3 million. 80% more than in 2010. This growth was strongly supported by domestic overnight visits, which increased by 80% in 10 years. Nigeria experienced significant growth in domestic visitation from 2016 to 2019. Mojo 2013 affirmed that Nigeria is known for her traditional art cultures of Nak, Ife, Benin, Iwoku, Owo, Esie, and so on. Through artworks, the history of Nigeria is documented. Nigerian traditional arts have survived the test of time with a recorded history of the oldest art discoveries. As of where, in a recent interview, has this to say about tourism. It's a very big industry, not only in Africa, in Asia and everywhere. But you don't just, or most of them are not just natural, uh, what they call it, uh, landscape or things, or heritage. Some of what we call tourism now, or tourist site, are created. You know, they are what we call uh, built environments. 
to create this uh, environment, this ambience, needs the work of artists. Uh, oftentimes, the artists replicate uh, things that have happened in the past, great stories. Like if you come to Oka, Oka is noted for blacksmithing. But in the past, it's no, it's no longer that vibrant. But it's not left the artist for the artist to still maintain or keep that culture alive so that people can still have that sense that it was a tourist center. Look Socially at, uh, and environmentally responsible tourism could also reduce national instability by helping to create world, bridge cultural differences, foster peace among the different ethnic and religious groups, and develop rural communities. Tourism thrives in a tranquil environment where youths, especially, are engaged in more creative activities instead of wasting precious time on irrelevant activities. Cultural activities like masquerading, New Year Festival, Agungu fishing festivals, Ofala festivals, and so on are all evident in tribal communities in Nigeria and can help attract and harness tourism in this regard. In conclusion, it is worth noting that artists indeed stand the chance of sustaining any developing economy like Nigeria. Exhibitions, conferences, seminars, and workshops should be frequently organized for the exchange of ideas and awareness. The Nigerian government should, as a matter of urgency, look into this sector and formulate policies and programs to help integrate its overwhelming importance amongst school children. The areas government can assist in this regard includes grants to support the creative activities of artists provided on a project basis or as continuing support funding. Graduates of visual arts are hereby encouraged to prepare themselves while in school for professional practice after graduation instead of waiting to be employed. It is not compulsory for every art graduate to practice professionally. Instead, they can still work within the sector to ensure division of labor is being sustained by seeking out those areas in art they can fit in into the awareness by becoming an art collector, establishment of galleries, selling of artworks and materials, and so on.